Hello guys, Mathemusterite here, also known as Crystallized Entertainment, and welcome to this mini tutorial on how to create a depth of field effect on your Cycles 4D animation. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because it's different than how you would do it in Cycles in Blender, and there are some additional steps on top of what you need to do on the built-in renderers for Cinema 4D. You're going to want to go to Cinema 4D and click on the Camera option, now you can just add a camera object and add a Cycles 4D camera tag uh, and do it that way but I just find it's easier just to spawn in a camera object with the tag already applied. Once you've done that go to the cube object and go to null. This will be our focal point on what we want to have in focus. So we're just going to move that to, a, to approximately where we want it to be which is around here, around the character front and from there we're just going to rename the node to camera one and underscore focal point. Now you can name this to whatever you want it to be and depending on your naming scheme but I just find this keeps things simpler. Okay so next up we're going to go to camera and scroll down to where it says focus point. From there we're just going to click on this arrow on the right of the setting and click on our recently created no object which has set a focus point to our character. Okay so I've done a quick cut to a more suitable frame to do this demonstration on. Once you've applied the no to the camera go to the side camera tag and under depth of field is where we're going to change our settings. Now I like to have a nice shallow depth of field effect so we're going to have this to 0.18 and with about 5 frames and having a minor high ratio. So now that we've done that we're going to go and look at our final effect through the real time preview. Um, I'm also going to take this opportunity to increase our level of detail to high. So and you can see if we zoom in that Apple Bloom is in focus. But if we go and move over there, when we start the window again we can see that um, Apple Bloom is no longer in focus. So it's an easy way to change the focal point depending on what you want your audience to focus on at a given moment in the shot. And there you go guys, that wraps up our mini tutorial on how to do a depth of field effect in Cycles 4D. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from it, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.